in the nose. It's their sense of smell that has made them celebrated service animals. And in recent months, canines and their handlers have been called on to help sniff out coronavirus in passengers at Helsinki Airport in Finland. And these pups were being trained to do the same in Russia's capital, Moscow. Now in Florida, they're being called on to detect COVID-19 in fans who want to attend games at the NBA's Miami Heat. Similar to all other types of detection work, you're just changing the type of odor or what the dog is looking for. Mm -hmm. So the virus is new and the odor and the, or, or de the detection of the, the virus is new, but the process to train a detection dog um, has been around for many years. The detection dogs will walk past fans queuing to get into the stadium. And if they sit down next to someone, it means they might have detected the virus. That person and anyone with them won't be allowed into the game. Now here at American Airlines Arena in Miami, spectators will have to fill out a health questionnaire and put on a mask if they want to get courtside. And if a person is afraid of dogs, they'll be given a rapid antigen test. And dogs aren't just being used to detect the virus in people. Some are also being trained to detect COVID-19 on surfaces. At Florida International University, they'll check rooms that have already been cleaned to make doubly sure they are safer spaces. It takes all shapes and sizes to get the job done. Bigger dogs can sniff up higher on surfaces. The smaller dogs can get under chairs and tables and things like that. Experts want to stress that these dogs are not a substitute for measures like social distancing, wearing masks, and getting tested for the virus. But they could prove to be a valuable partner when it comes to keeping people and places safe. In Miami, Robert Ray, TRT World.